In the last couple of years, particularly on this coast, there have been some very serious accidents um, due to fixed gear failure. So we're here today at Screeder Point to try an E46A called Nose Decay. Um, when a lot of this area was developed, they didn't have small gear, so pegs were used to protect a lot of the thinner cracks. So if you're climbing to any degree on sea cliffs, it's inevitable at some point you will come across pegs. Now pegs are not bolts, pegs are blades of metal which are normally knocked into very thin cracks where other protection has not always been available. Now this has changed over the years because with the onset of camming devices and smaller wires, you know, you now have the op opportunity quite often to sort of either back these things or, or to place other protection where years and years ago there wasn't an option. But there are still routes and some still new routes, particularly in the on the Corn Coast and on the north coast of, of Devon and Cornwall, where the, there isn't any other options. So sometimes these are still used. The issues with them really are the fact that once they're in, they're actually in a in a salty environment and the tide's coming in day in, day out. I mean where we are today, this is pretty well almost booked up to the coast path and the tide comes in here day in, day out and it soaks everything with seawater. So you tend to find that you'll see these pegs, they'll be sticking out of the rock, well at all angles quite often, they're not always in very deeply. But you will see, you know, what looks like a rusty head sticking out, then you just you're gonna clip into it. The issue is what you see on the outside is not always what you see on the inside. And because it's in a crack, water sits in the crack, and over a surprisingly short amount of time, you'll tend to find that these start to rot from the inside out. And you're never quite sure how good they are. Here's a, an example, again, these have come off the Corn Coast, so, so locally, and that is what you're gonna see sticking out. And okay, it's rusty, but it looks thick. But actually on the inside, you've got this very narrow blade, and I can just bend it with my finger. So actually, that would not take a fall. You know, you do that a couple of times and away it goes. So, don't trust these guys. You need to back them up. If it's a route that you really want to do, and it's got a peg, or it says it's peg protection in the guidebook, then you have got the option to abseil down and have a look at it. So before we commit to this route, we are gonna abseil down, and have a look at the peg, and see if it's possible to back it up with modern gear. sat on the peg and uh, clipped to it. The eye flexes quite a lot and um, it's very rusty so that's the reason why I wouldn't trust this piece of fixed gear and would choose to back it up with the cracks around it. There is no protection at the start of the route, so I am spotting Will as he makes the initial moves at the start of the climb. I've decided to climb with double ropes on this route. 
Although the line doesn't wander around much in terms of traversing, there are still advantages in this situation. In the event of a fall, the load on the gear would be shared between both ropes, reducing the risk of a piece failing. Whilst on the lead, I have placed a good nest of several pieces in the crack surrounding the peg, which I am satisfied will hold a fall. I have also decided to use the peg to supplement the other gear. As we see from earlier in the video, the eye of the peg flexes a lot, so I am using a 60cm sling to lock to the stem of the peg. The top of this route, as with many on this coast, involves mixed ground without a great amount in terms of protection. Therefore, I have left an end of the ab rope in place so that I can use this as a hand line. It would also be possible to clip an ascender directly onto the rope or use a rolling clip with hitch to safeguard the top out, or even clip it as a running B day. Okay, so we did the route. Um, glad that we have sailed down to have a look at the peg as it was in fairly poor condition but there was plenty of gear to back it up which meant that we could just go for it and we uh, got it done. So if you encounter fixed gear on a route just be mindful of the fact that it's likely to have been there for a really long time and it's going to be in poor condition and just check it and back it up where you can um, and be safe.